Okay, even with the rain in the forecast again for tomorrow, there are still parts of Kansas in drought conditions and water conservation is still a thing because Wichita remains in stage one of drought with the city asking you to conserve where you can. With that in mind, KSN's Jackie Elson in studio with some ways you can cut back water use. Jackie? Craig, right now Kansas is either abnormally dry or at severe drought levels, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. And while many are watering their lawns with the summer heat on the way, it's important to keep an eye on how you are watering. Parts of Kansas are still desperate for more rain before the summer heat is here. And if you are watering your lawn more now, some experts say that's not what you should be doing right now. The number one mistake that gardeners make and homeowners make is overwatering in the spring. McKernan says overwatering makes your grass and plants more susceptible to drought. He adds that in the spring, you should only water once or twice a week. When you water also matters. Typically, we're going to recommend people water in the early morning hours. This is going to help reduce the amount of water that's lost to winds and evaporation that happen during the heat of the day. With all this being said, you should be mindful of how much water you're using depending on what your source is, a well or city water. Try and save a little bit of water. Kennard uses well water and says he waters his yard and plants throughout the week, but not too often because he's worried about water conservation. I give him a little bit every other day. I water some every day, just not the same thing every day. McKernan says if you have a private well, you should occasionally test the level of salt content in the water. The high salt content in our well waters that might damage our soil or damage our plants, making drought conditions worse. McKernan adds that various types of grasses can absorb water differently, like tall fescue needs more water than Bermuda. Here for you, Jackie Elson, KSN News 3.